I, though? These new coaster modules you've come up with, I'd have never thought to make them. Ah. I'm getting an idea, you know. I've actually been thinking about taking on a protege for a while. Originally, I was going to run a competition, but Izzy wouldn't let me. How would you like to try your hand at the big time? I can't promise that the pay will be good. The belts of Cloud Stormer are a little tight at the moment, but I can promise you'll learn a lot. <laughs> Some of it might even be useful. So, what do you say? I'll take your silence as a yes. <laughs> Come on, I'm double parked. Ooh, I'm coming too. I know you only hired me for the day, but I want to see where this goes. Here we are. Now, I know this forest might look spooky from a distance, but once you're in the thick of it, it's merely pantaloon fillingly terrifying. Yes. As choice of locales for a fun packed family theme park go, this wasn't exactly your finest hour, was it, Phil? Oh, hello. You're the new hire, hmm? I'm Isabel Dillard, Cloudstormer CEO. <laughs> Although sometimes I feel like I actually run a crash. Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? And I don't know why you're picking on this park, Izzy. I've made far worse mistakes. Don't worry. We'll visit those in due course. Anyway, ominously creepy trees aside, this is a fair bit bigger than the test site and your fire exit coaster, hmm? Well, the stakes certainly are. Always pinching those pennies, eh, Izzy? I can't wait to see what our friend here paints with a canvas as large as this. And don't worry. We're not quite throwing you in at the deep end. I'll be right here by your side to answer any questions you have. And I'll be by your other side making a note of how much you spend. She does that whenever we have a business lunch, too. Heaven forfend you have the temerity to order something sweet to finish. Yes, well, if our friend here messes up at this park, they won't have to worry about not getting their just desserts. Ooh, lovely. Make mine a cheesecake.
You've seen the park and its rather special forest locale, so you appreciate the challenge facing you. I want you to pitch a plan for turning this investment into profitability. Izzy's right, of course, but I didn't hire you to worry about the numbers. You're a visioneer like me, and that role's all about sharing your wild and wonderful ideas. Ideas, yes, but let's not be too wild. You don't hitch a stagecoach to wild stallions, after all. Oh, but what a ride you get when you do, Izzy! It may bump your rump, but you don't forget that experience in a hurry. Well, lawsuits and health and safety issues notwithstanding, Cloudstormer's fiscal situation is perilously close to catastrophic collapse. Sounds exciting. <laughs> but I think what Izzy is trying to say is... Who do you think we should be luring through the turnstiles at the new park? Finnick! 
sneaky forebears. I know I said families can be fussy, but anyone with kids is far too stressed out to make sensible spending decisions. We can't go wrong with a family theme park. That would be true, except that target demographic puts us in direct competition with every other park within 200 kilometers. Yes, but if you measure it in nautical leagues, it's only 30. I trust the engineering team will be able to provide some new rides, Phil. Absolutely. Just not at this park. Sophia's stuck over at one of our East Coast sites. Oh, she might be able to fly us one of those newfangled ornithopters with some goodies in it, though. We call that a drone these days, Phil. What do you propose for our theme? Hmm. I was hoping for a more contemporary theme, but we can play it safe if you like. Nothing safe about candy, you know. You can choke to death on a gobstopper. <sighs> How many times, Phil? I know you don't like to be dictated to by safety labels, but you can't keep swallowing them whole. Are you happy with this plan of attack, or do you want to renegotiate terms? Very well. We'll take the necessary steps to get this going. I hope you appreciate that the fate of the company rests on the success of this project. Well, strap me to a rocket and light my fuse with a sparkler. This is exciting. Your first crack at a real theme park. <laughs> oh, I remember my first time. It was in Bangkok after the war. Or uh, was it Singapore? Uh, no, no, wait. It, it was Cleveland. It was upstate New York, Phil. Your father's cabinet of curiosities, remember? Oh, I thought it was the Thrillinator. Uh, well, uh, whatever it was, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Which was... Uh... Monday, Phil. Meeting adjourned. Thank you for your time, everyone. <laughs>